Hi, I'm going to show you some clips of motions and can you tell me what is common to all the motions shown here? That's right, these are all examples of periodic motion. Periodic motion is a motion that repeats itself at regular intervals of time. Another example of periodic motion is the simple pendulum. The simple pendulum is like a swing. Its motion is periodic in nature. The simple pendulum's motion is also called oscillatory motion since it moves to and fro. A simple pendulum is made from a small metal ball called a bob and it is suspended by a long thread from a rigid support. We can pull the bob and make it swing to and fro like this. The famous scientist Galileo discovered an important principle of the pendulum. He discovered that a pendulum completes every swing in exactly the same time. A to and fro swing of the pendulum is called an oscillation. Now what is one complete oscillation? If you start the pendulum from one extreme position, so when it swings and comes back to the same extreme position, it is called one complete oscillation. Or if you start the pendulum from the center position, then the pendulum goes to one extreme position and then it swings back and goes to the other extreme and now it must come back to the center again. That is again one complete oscillation. So whichever way you measure it, from whichever position, that's a complete oscillation. Now the time taken for one complete oscillation is called the time period. Let's say the pendulum took two seconds to complete the oscillation. Then the time period is going to be two seconds. Remember, the time period is the time taken for one complete oscillation of the pendulum. Frequency is defined as the number of oscillations in one second. Frequency and time period are reverse of each other. So frequency is the reciprocal of the time period. So what's the formula going to be? Frequency f is 1 by t. t is the time period. Or we can write time period t is 1 by f, the frequency. Now what is the frequency for pendulum where the time period was 2 seconds? That's right. If you take the reciprocal, the answer is going to be half or 0 0.5 because it is completing half an oscillation in 1 second. The unit of frequency is second inverse or hertz. So the frequency of our pendulum is written as half hertz or 0 0.5 hertz. Let's say a pendulum completes 10 oscillations in 2 seconds. Can you find its time period and frequency? 10 oscillations takes 2 seconds. So the time for one oscillation is 2 divided by 10, which is 0.2 seconds. Frequency, as we learnt, is the reciprocal of the time period. So the frequency is going to be 1 divided by 0.2, which if you calculate, it's 5 hertz. You can also directly calculate the frequency. In 2 seconds, there are 10 oscillations. So in 1 second, the number of oscillations is 10 by 2, which is 5. So the frequency, once again, is 5 hertz. Hope the concept of time period and frequency of the simple pendulum is crystal clear to you now. Next time you go to the park, try being the physics geek and use your stopwatch and calculate the time period and frequency of the swing in the park.